Alright guys, welcome to part 3 of how to customize your Hot Wheel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make different axles so that you can put any wheel on any car that you want, no matter what size the axle is. For this project, you're going to need some tubing like this. I buy mine at Hobby Lobby, and this is what the packaging looks like. So now that you've got your tubing, you want to lay it in the Hot Wheel. Once you've laid the tubing in the Hot Wheel, you want to go ahead and mark it, making sure that the tubing is just as long as the Hot Wheel is from this plastic end to this plastic end. Alright, now that you've got your axle with your mark on it, you're going to go ahead and need to cut your tubing. I use a Dremel for this, and always wear eye protection. After you've got your tube cut, you may need to take your Dremel and rub it up against the blade just to kind of flatten where you just cut. Now that you've got your new axle, it's time to put the wheels on the axle. I'm going to go ahead and use the car's old axle to put my new wheels on it. Cut the old Hot Wheel axle in half. Now that you've got the old axle cut in half, you're going to slide each end of the, new, the old axle into your new axle. Now sometimes the old axle won't want to slide in all the way, so I use the leftover tubing and just push the axle all the way out. Now that you've got your new axle made, you're going to want to go ahead and crimp the new axle to the old axle, just so that the wheels don't come out later on. whenever you're crimping them because if you push too hard you'll actually cause the wheel the new axle to bend and if you bend it then it'll give the car a cambered look now if that's the look you're going for then go ahead and crimp it a little too hard and it's going to cause the axle to bend and give your wheels a cambered look now your new axle is too big to fit where the original hot wheel axle did you can see that it's significantly bigger so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to groove out this section so that our new axle can fit inside our Hot Wheel. Now I like to use the drill bit that I originally used as the pilot hole whenever I open this car up to groove out the plastic so that my new axle can fit. Whenever I'm grooving this out, I like to just move the drill bit back and forth slowly as it clears out a path for my new axle. All right, now that I've grooved out the body of the hot wheel, my axle will be able to fit right in there. Now if you need to, repeat this process on the other axle. So you've made your custom axles, you've grooved out the body of the car down here. Now all you gotta do is set it in there and you're good to go. Now on some older Hot Wheels, you may have to check these little parts right here that go over the axle. On some cars, these holes right here are too small and they won't fit over your new axles. So you'll have to do the same thing with the drill and groove them out 
up here so that they'll fit over your new axles. Luckily on this car, they're big enough holes right here that it sits on just fine. And now that may be it for you. Maybe you like the paint on the car that you were customizing and you just wanted to change out the wheels. But if you're looking to customize your car even more, keep an eye on the channel. I'm doing a whole series on this car from start to finish with every single step that I go through of how to customize Hot Wheels. So you're going to see this thing from start to finish, from opening it out of the package to putting it back in the package finished. I got to give a huge shout out to a good friend of mine named Eric. He sent me a Rode microphone for my camera to help make my audio, audio quality even better so that I can make sure and put better content out there for you guys. Eric, you're awesome. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate this. And I also wanted to say thank you to all of you. We're now to 700 subscribers. That's unreal. I can't even fathom that 700 of you have hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. It means so much to me that you guys want to see what I'm putting out. That is so awesome. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm thinking once we hit 1,000, I'm going to do a customized giveaway. So make sure and stick around for whenever that happens. So thank you guys again so much for watching this video. If you like it, go ahead and leave it a like. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And we'll see you next time.